First, let me say that the issue of bias, I think, is a red herring. Very few people who are conducting research in this area have no perspective. Many of those who are contributing to the scientific literature are themselves gay and lesbian. And as a scientist, I would never want to say, oh, because you're gay and lesbian, you have nothing to say, or that I can disregard your science. So the issue is one of scientific uh, standards, high scientific standards, integrity, honesty in what you report. Secondly, I think the funding source has nothing to do with the scientific integrity of the study. The reality is that we sought funding from non-religious or uh, n supposedly neutral uh, funding sources uh, earlier at an earlier phase of conceptualizing the study. And what we found was that nobody was willing to fund this study because of political pressures. And so the bias really was against this kind of uh, examining this kind of question in, in the way that we wanted to examine it. I remember one foundation in particular that said, you know what, you've designed an extraordinary, rigorous study and we will never fund it because we don't want to, uh, to reap the political reactions that will, ne will inevitably follow from funding this kind of research. We did obtain our fun the funding for our research from Exodus, but in seeking that funding from Exodus, we told them from the beginning that, we, that they needed to understand that if our scientific findings from the study showed that the Exodus approach was completely without merit and that nobody changed, that we were going to publish those findings regardless, that they needed to be prepared for the truth whatever form it took from our, our research. And they said, well, we're willing to take a gamble on that because we believe in what we're doing. So we conducted our research and then similarly, originally we envisioned publishing our results with a non-religious publisher. And in fact, we spent almost a year trying to get the results published with non-religious publishers. And the literary agent and our own experience uh, was that publishers just slammed the door in our face time and time again because they didn't want to incur the wrath of the gay and lesbian community in publishing these, these findings. InterVarsity was the only publisher that was uh, brave enough and I think committed enough to the truth uh, to actually pu publish these results. So I think the, the core issue is does the study have scientific integrity and have the results been presented honestly? And the answer to that is yes.